Hello everyone, my name is Bradley Sword, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this video today is meant more as an extra credit assignment for my students, but I figured that this could go out to everyone. Uh, this is, you know, something fun, something interesting if you're into these kind of things. And since I worked in casino games for a while, I thought it is pretty interesting to, you know, take a card game and try to figure out and simulate at the same time and prove the mathematics behind the rules of the game that I'm setting up. So let me show you the rules of the game, and then I will leave the rest for you guys to solve and to figure out uh, what the answer is to the problem I will be asking you. So as you can see here, there are 16 total cards. There are four rows and four rows of four cards each. And maybe you can, and maybe you can't see, but the cards are identical. So the, the four dumpling cards are identical. The four tempura cards are identical. The four sashimi cards are identical. And the four uh, maki rolls are identical. And I could use any cards I want as long as each of the four different types are identical. I just picked Sushi Go because it was the easiest to find uh, four sets of four cards without having to do extra work because, you know, extra work, who needs that? So here is, you know, so there it is. There's 16 cards sitting in front of you, four groups of four identical cards. So you could think of it as group one, group two, group three, group four, if you're, if that's what it uh, works for you. Sorry about being so shaky. If it is shaky, I don't know what it looks like from here. Okay, so the idea here is I take my 16 cards, I shuffle them up, shuffling every day I'm shuffling so there we go there and I'm shuffling up and then I'll put the cards out just randomly it doesn't matter and I didn't shuffle very hard but it's not gonna matter much and you will see that now the 16 cards are laid out and here you go and so my question is can you randomly select cards so you can group them in groups the groups of four like just right off the bat so i can be like okay let me just show you i know it's like what am i talking about and i'm gonna have to probably redo this anyway but if i pick this card and i go oh i picked uh what did i pick tempura all right now that i picked tempura the next three ones that i pick have to also be tempura and if i mess up on this then the game is over so at any point if i do not pull the correct card then i am done so let's pull this one and oh i didn't I didn't, this is all luck right now. I, I, I got lucky, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. And then the second card here, I go, nope, I got Maki Roll. So the game is over, and it ended pretty darn quickly there, uh, such that, uh, you know, I didn't get any sets of anything. And, of course, you know, whatever I pick the first card has to match up until I uh, reach my group of four. So let's do this more. Let me show you this with a winning situation so you can see what it would look like uh, in the rare chance that someone would win. Okay, so again, sorry for the shakiness if it ends up that way, but here are my 16 cards, and so I go, well, let me pick a card. So the, basically, it doesn't matter which card you pick first. You can't lose on the first pick, because whatever your pick is going gonna, is gonna to be the first part of that group. So I go, oh, I picked tempura. Oops, I picked tempura. So I'm like, well, now I need to find the other tempuras. So I go, oh, goodness, I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to pick this one. They go, oh, I got tempura. So, so far, so good. I have two tempuras, and i got to keep going until I get a group of four, or I screw up, and I don't pick a tempura in this case. And I go, well, I pick another one, and I go, oh, tempura. That's good. There's three. Getting luckier. So now, you know, the chances are being reduced here about uh, basically screwing up on this one. Well, maybe, maybe so. I don't know the exact odds on this. Uh, but now I pick this one, and I go, okay, now i got tempura. So, phew, I made it through the first round, if you want to think of it that way, where I now have all four of the same kind, and now I'm ready to move on. So now that I have that, there's no more temperas in here, and they're, they're all sitting over here. And so, sorry again for the shakiness, it's just fun on my end. And so now I pick a different card, and it doesn't matter what I pick, now that's the new group. And now I have to match up with Maki Rolls. And you can kind of see where this is going. So if I pick this one, and that ends up being another Maki Roll, then I can continue on. And I pick another Maki roll, and I continue on. And I pick another Maki roll, and I continue on. And so now at this point, I have two groups of four. So things are getting lucky. It's almost like hitting the lottery, right? That uh, basically now I have two full groups, and I'm ready to move on to the third group. And if I basically if I nail the third group, I get the fourth one for free, right? Because 
then the only four cards would left the four cards that would be left are the ones that are in that particular group. So just to say now, if I pick this card up here as a dumpling, happy with that. And they go, what? Well, how about the rest of this? And they go, well, what about this card? And they go, that's a dumpling. Cool. How about this card? That's a dumpling. Cool. How about this card? That's a dumpling. Cool. So now I have three sets. And just as I was saying, if there there are four four sets of four cards, if I do everything up to this point correct. Then there's nothing left to actually do, consider you know, for on the correct side of things. Where you go, well now everything else, and if it's not, someone's tricking you, because it's got to be four sets of four cards, and now I have all four sets set out. And so my question again is basically, okay, let's just say we 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 started the game and you bet one dollar, and if you win, you are going, I'll pay you some number of dollars. To, that, that you won the game. But as you can tell, maybe the game, maybe you can tell it, maybe you can see, maybe you can't, that the game is actually kind of hard to win. Because, you know, But how how hard is it? That's the question for you. So if you bet a dollar and this game was fair, meaning for every time you lost and, uh, and every time you won, that you kept playing forever, that this game would come out even so that we neither of us win or neither of us lose money overall, my question for you is, how many dollars do I need to pay you when you win on a $1 bet? What do you guys think about that? Comment below and uh, send your uh, responses uh, via Blackboard for those of you who are my students. Uh, you'll see more uh, intricate and detailed information about the requirements for this problem on Blackboard. But for the rest of you, uh, what do you think? What is the answer to this question? How many dollars will you win on a $1 bet if you play the game as I showed it here.